this is um, the first video for 3.1.2, the second part of the syllabus for Module 1, AS Chemistry for AQA. In this video we'll look at relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass and the Avogadro's constant. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're going to start with um, relative atomic mass which is represented by the symbol AR. And the relative atomic mass, there's many definitions for it, but I use is the average mass of an atom of an element taking into account its naturally occurring isotopes relative to 1 12th, the relative atomic mass of carbon 12. 12. So again, that's just relative atomic mass is the weighed average mass of an atom of an element taking into account its naturally occurring isotopes relative to 1 12th the relative atomic mass of carbon 12. And you can actually use an equation to calculate it. Just need to be aware of the equation, not remember or anything like that. And it's just the average mass of one atom of an element of mass one atom and then divided by one twelfth the mass of carbon twelve oh, excuse my writing now moving on to relative molecular mass, represented by the symbol MR. It's the same as a um, relative atomic mass, but it's for a molecule. So uh, it's just defined as um, the mass of that molecule compared to the relative atomic mass of carbon-12. So mass molecule compared to the relative atomic mass of carbon-12. If you can remember relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass as a breeze. So you find the relative molecular mass by adding all the relative atomic masses of the elements within the compound. The same technique is used for ionic compounds, but in the exam, ionic compounds will be called relative formula mass. And this is because ionic compounds... Uh, do not exist as molecules. So it will be referred to formula mass. So, recap. AR is relative atomic mass. MR is relative molecular mass. But formula mass is used for ionic compounds. Okay. Okay, so now we move on to moles and Avogadro's constant. Um, and basically, a mole is just a very large number of particles. So, large number of particles. And um, the amount of substance is re measured using the... Um, unit called mole and it's mole for short and it's given the symbol n to represent number of moles. One mole is approximately 6 times by 10 to the 23 particles and that is Avogadro's constant. It's actually 6.02 but and you will be given that in the exam if you need to know it. And it doesn't matter what the particles are, they can be molecules, electrons, ions, penguins, they can be anything. But um, that's how you work out. And there's two equations. For Avogadro's constant, it's particles over the number of moles times by L, which is Avogadro's constant, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. 
So if you were working out the number of particles, rather than trying to calculate them all, you would just do the number of moles times by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And then the equation for moles, you might be asked to work out like how many grams is in a mole or something like that. And you've got to just remember G, Mr. Mole. And that will give you your equation grams on the top, molecular formula there, times by the number of moles. So if you got grams, how to work that out, it'd be MR times by moles equals your number of grams. You must remember that equation. You'll have done it in um, GCSE chemistry, dead straightforward. Right, that's it for this video. So being for all this, and the next video will cover them more on this um, section. All right, and thanks for watching. Also, please leave a comment and follow me on Twitter. It's um, chem underscore AQA. There's loads of updates and tweets on there. Thanks again. Bye.